the last sort of major concern uh, that hasn't been addressed or isn't in the process of being addressed is field goal kicking. Um, Matt Bormeister, uh, who you know hit the game winner in the Rose Bowl, he is no longer with the team. Uh, and the new guys coming in have not really shown sort of any consistency in hitting kicks in practice, uh, which is a concern because uh, if you can't hit it, hit them consistently in the controlled environment of practice, what do you think their odds are of doing it in front of 80,000 people on national television? Uh, so I, you're, you, they're going to have to figure something out, out. I don't think it's panic time. I think even though there's a lot of me, USC uh, media folks and, and pundits and analysts who are already talking about if they should just automatically be in four down territory as soon as they cross the 40. Uh, I don't think we're there yet. But you do have to be concerned uh, if you can't hit field goals. You do, you know, have to account for it and plan for it and um, and hope for the best. But it could be an issue. It certainly would have been an issue in the Rose Bowl uh, and a couple other tight games. But um, they've got they've got a huge question mark at field goal kicker right now. And and right now I don't know how bad it is or how much it changes things but it's going to be an issue if in your back pocket uh you you can't you don't have a guaranteed three even more concerning is not just that the field goal kicker isn't good it's that last year in the red zone if you can believe it usc's offense was not good uh they were kind of i believe in the bottom half in red zone uh and putting the ball in the end zone from the red zone so if you have to keep settling for threes because you can't get the job done, if they don't improve in the red zone and you have to keep settling for threes, but all of a sudden you got, you don't have a guy who can hit the threes. That's where it becomes a concern. And so uh, that sort of problem, those things could compound and really get cause, cause some issues. But again, it's, you know, that's where we, uh, 10, 11 days into August, uh, there's a lot that's going to happen between now and, and September 2nd. Uh, but if the season were to start tomorrow, um, this is this is what we'd be dealing with. But I think they're heading the right direction, but field goal could be an issue. That final kick for Bormeister that you mentioned in the Rose Bowl was from 46 yards away. And the reason I mentioned uh, the yardage is that according to the LA Times article I'm looking at uh, about the place kicking woes for USC is that between Michael Brown, a Richard freshman who's trying to um, steal the job, and uh, Chase McGrath, who's a preferred walk-on, neither one of them has been able to make a kick from 45 yards out. Um through the first few weeks of practice and it's causing clay hilton uh to to exclaim things like uh, to quote him thank god three weeks until the opener mm -hmm. to try to figure this out and get somebody who can kick it through the uprights and kick with some distance mm -hmm. i will say this though uh, you know yes that sounds really bad and it could be very bad but uh usc has possibly one of the best special teams coaches in the nation, possibly the best. Um, so, you know, if you have to bet on a coach on any coach, getting it turned around, it would be their special teams coach. Um, although I think right now he's, he's also very much concerned about how to replace a Dory Jackson in returns. Not that you really can, but, uh, if there's a if there's a, a, a coaching staff out there that get it turned around, it's the special teams coach. So um, it could be really bad, uh, or it could be just you know we still got two and a half three weeks. Let's all just take a deep breath and not live or die with every field goal attempt in practice. But <laughs> as a, but if the if the game if their first game was tomorrow, yes, they should absolutely account for not being able to hit field goals and yes they should absolutely uh be in four down territory as soon as they cross the other team's 40 basically but their first game is not tomorrow uh and as clay helton said thank god for that but they've got plenty of time they'll get it 
most of this stuff will get sorted out. I think they'll be fine. But uh, if they continue to struggle in the red zone and they can't hit threes, they can't get threes when they're there, that's where you could really see a problem because then we're going to get into a situation where USC can only score points from like the 40-yard line, which if there's a guy that could do it, it's probably Darnold or Trace McSorley out of Penn State. But, man, that does not sound like a reliable path to, to <laughs> the Pac-12 championship. Yeah, so for USC fans, they want to see a field goal kicker on the field frequently, but that after scoring touchdowns for the extra points uh, from kicking from the three-yard line. Uh, Dominic Davis, as you mentioned, uh, uh, making the switch to defensive back. It'll be interesting to see how he develops, but if he's holding his ground, as you mentioned, Nick, uh, that's that speaks volumes uh, against uh, that wide receiver core. Uh, did have 27 touches last year. That's 23 rushes and four receptions. But now he's a DB there at USC. All right, Nick Dempsey from uh, Conquest Chronicles. Also join him on Facebook and Twitter at Saturdays with Nick. Nick with uh, a number of exciting um, outlets uh, that have just been launched and uh, some material headed our way that uh, we'll talk about in future weeks. All right, Nick, we appreciate the time. Of course, Mark, anytime.